there was a piglet at the dog shelter. When I saw this video, I became obsessed. I did not know I would be a thousand miles away witnessing a love story. And I definitely didn't know where any of us would be four years later. I'm an executive producer for the Dodo. I've met lions, bears, a camel. I've chased an escaped tortoise. I even rescued a skunk. But this was a first. These animal rescuers texted me that we had fallen off a factory farm truck. She's shaking. Probably just separated from her mom. She's not gonna make it through the night if we leave it here. Come on. Really wouldn't eat or drink anything. Three words. She probably misses her mom. She still hasn't drinking anything. I started texting with them about telling her story, but the texts are just getting worse and worse. Like this one. Sorry, she isn't doing great. She's very dehydrated. As a last-ditch effort, they tried Gatorade, and wildly, she loved it. Oh, it's so good. Oh, thank goodness. It looked like she might actually make it. Her story was just so amazing. I had to see it in person. I flew to Eastern North Carolina. She was kind of a celebrity in my head. I got to their house, and these rescued baby goats <laughs> are everywhere. Excuse me. Hello. Marley. Marley was just this curious toddler with a warm Gatorade addiction. Don't, don't do it. It's not warm enough. You are a high maintenance ma'am. Chaos, but this family is totally at capacity. Mm -hmm. They get over 15 calls a week about his meeting homes. And there's no room for Marley. Okay. Meanwhile, I'm talking to this guy who I only met once because he can help Marley get to a new home. He's just rescued this calf from a dairy farm. Eli had just been separated from his mom and he wasn't drinking milk. Too anxious to eat. You can see his mom watching him when he's carried outside. really hard to find homes for these animals. With this kind of magical sanctuary in Florida, it could take both a calf and a piglet. I only noticed that uh, rewatching just now that Eli's sticking his tongue out. He might be exploring the fresh air he's never felt before or trying to reach for his mom. I don't know. Jason was this like hemp farmer DJ. He heard dairy babies aren't taken from their moms so we can drink their milk and the boys are often killed. And Jason just started knocking on his neighbor's doors offering to save their baby boys. Pretty nervous. We could drive 10 more hours. We kept Marley crated for the first hour before introducing them. They're babies and we had no idea if they were gonna get along. I don't think that's close. Stay to it. Let's do this. Okay, we gotta keep your son unbelievably warm so that not Oh great. Let's not get a ticket this time. I had met Jason once before. I had turned around to film in the car. I've never been pulled over with calves before. We were hoping this trip would go a little better. Looking right in there, huh? It was just like watching any love story. He's being weird. I did have a moment of like, wait, why did I agree to this? I'm trapped in a car with a mere stranger for 10 hours. I came up with talking points. So you think that I'm thinking about coffee and everything bagel toasted twice. Please make sure they toast it twice. Thank you. If they don't toast it twice, it's just mushy bread. He's never seen the sky before. It's a big, beautiful world out there. We had about 24 hours to get Eli to drink before it got bad. You can probably introduce them now. There was no great plan B. No guarantee they're gonna get along. Be prepared to step in if necessary. Welcome to the car. They're playing it cool, but clearly into each other. Why don't you have a travel mug? I do, I have three travel mugs. I just forgot to travel with them. Marley started to come on a little strong. I really wanted us to get to Florida before the sun set for a little stop. I mean, like, that means good. What are you, a driving instructor? This is Savannah. Oh my gosh, those are the trees. Look, Marley. Those are Spanish moss trees. Aren't you excited, Marley? Oh my gosh, look at this. He's never seen palm trees before. He's never seen a pig before. And suddenly they're those best friends we're all a little jealous of. What should their song be? These two animals who weren't supposed to be alive are falling in love. Oh, they like this. It's very appropriate. I don't feel like you appreciate it. I do. You don't get to listen to it ever again. Am I gonna get peed on? Oh, no, thank you. Where are you going, bud? Can you show the ocean? You've been wearing slippers. Well, it's such a long trip. Smell the ocean. You hungry? No. Actually, that takes two minutes. Yeah. She's eating the sand. The ocean. Oh, 
Oh, because you have food, you have a cookie. I don't know why you're still holding the cookie. We're only out there for two minutes, but always looking for her. Something within her that's drawn to him. I'm getting cranky every time. You're so cranky. Starving. You don't want to eat how long you can break a windshield with that. Beautiful. <laughs> Minutes away. Can't wait. Oh, that's what somebody's lost. Awesome. Here we are. Nope. I've done this before. This is the wrong spot. Here we are. Are you going to We're home. We have escaped. The greatest crew. You can see it. <laughs> You're going to get spoiled like all the other. They brought Eli into a pen until we could reunite them in the morning. Yeah. Can't wait to see it in the sunlight. It's freaking nice. It's freaking nice. He misses his mom. Like to see that. We never could force him to drink. He just had to feel safe on his own. Welcome home. He's in the right place. Here we go. He like spent his short life in a little pen. Oh, they all do that little happy dance when they feel grass. And he just takes off running. Uh, I'm free. <laughs> Kind of feel the stress leave their bodies. Yeah, they just sort of relax. You're gonna like this part. She's gonna look for me. <laughs> I was so tired. It was this moment of real <laughs> your joy. Of course, I cut myself on the fence. I think I need a band aid. Oh my god, don't rub my butt. Oh. Marley finally discovered pigs over there. This is why I do what I do. This is very fun. We explored Twin Peak Sanctuary. This couple had saved up all their money so they could save animals. And now they literally have pigs lining up for belly rubs. Oh, uh, she have four hands. Oh, oh. <laughs> Come and lay on your feet so that you can't leave. Couldn't have looked in a better place. See you later. So happy that you don't even notice I'm leaving. <sighs> It's wild to get to watch who they've become. Marley and Eli have this family bond thing. It's like, yeah, she has this weird obsession with dirt, but you know, she's mine. She doesn't really understand why he's so obsessed with hay, but you know, he's hers. <laughs> and Jason and I both moved to States and crazily now live nearby. He quit his job and now manages a new sanctuary. <laughs> we actually went on another rescue together and got Eli's nephew, who now lives outside his window. Hey. Oh my goodness! That's your uncle! <laughs> wow, that's kind of wild! These three pigs, Marley's kind of their caregiver. They're like her little boys. And they're still buddies, huh? They are, actually. I got to see them again. I was back in Florida filming, and right before I had to leave, I ran out, and they were both together. I think you remember me. Is that like your next step? We don't usually get to watch farm animals grow up. Yeah, you've gotten loud. It's kind of like old friends, you know, where you see somebody you had not seen in a while, and you're like, hey, dude, what's up? And they'll goof around with each other, snuggle up together. Everybody's happy, fat, and healthy. This is some just remarkable people. These totally forgotten animals found each other and get to grow old together. This is gonna sound really weird. For a long time, I had a scar from cutting myself on the fence the day they were released. The scar's gone away now, and now I'm kind of sad because it was this like memory of a magical day. It's weird. It's weird.